All right, welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. We're going to start rebuilding the engine for the Ford GT40. So, need to buy some a few parts here. We're going to need I don't think uh, some piston rings. caps back on and the crankshaft cap here takes that extra little step since they all have screws of course doing the rebuilds there's also um, you can get like uh, upgraded gear I did pull out of anything out of the warehouse that I thought uh, would work on this so once we get this on we'll tip this back up here okay spark plug so here's the actual um, tuning shop for the um, racing parts or whatever components whatever you want to call it I'm not sure the right answer kind of hid behind this manifold. Alright, can't repair valve uh, push rods. So let's go back over to the other. So we'll just buy eight at eight. Ten's the most you can buy. Let me make sure which ones I need here. Just the normal. So we eight for this side, eight for the other side. And you can find upgraded parts out of the crates that you get from doing quests. 
uh, not quest, um, repairs. Every successful repair you can get, sometimes you can get like a barn location map. Um, you can get an actual crate with like goodies in it. Well, I've already got that, uh, that one in. Might be easier to zoom in. You just tap it, it'll adjust your camera for you. Okay, so we rock arm is, uh, we need uh, the rock arms as well. Because they cannot be repaired. So we need eight and eight of those. And you gotta let off of X when you're tapping it to mount the part. And once you go to actually screw it in you gotta tap it off you gotta let off of it just a split second um, to actually screw it in so I'm just not very good at the timing of it but that's what you gotta do Jump over to this side. Start the process over here. All right, so this one did not get successfully repaired, so let's buy that. So let's just. Uh, This side will go a little quicker since I've already bought the parts now. It'd be a little faster if I was a little faster at uh, installing the parts itself. Right. You're building the engine is kind of fun, but can get a little tedious. Uh, but it looks so cool when it's all brand new and shiny and clean and It's awesome. All right, let's put our plugs in here. Oh, I don't want to put that on yet. I want to put the plugs in first. We're kind of hid here. got one here that's a little upgraded we'll put that on there look awesome so 
Put those in. Put the air trumpets in. We got two of them. And we'll have to buy uh, two of them. So let's see. Buy four more of the trumpets, I think. Here, yeah, I didn't even realize there was a, a whole row on this side. I already forgot that quickly since I pulled them off. Looks awesome, man. It just looks definitely got the hot rod look for sure. We get this back in the car and get all the stuff painted up, it's gonna look amazing. We can get some of that under the tune-up stuff here, so let's check. And we'll leave it on that page till we finish this build off here. Alright, we had some of those. are definitely tricky. Sometimes you're trying to figure out what you're missing. And it's those little clips. Alright, let's see. Mission wires V8. Time and chain VHO8V. I'm sure we need that too. Stuff you can't repair, so. The timing chain is a great perk that you can unlock, and I recommend it as soon as you can get it because you can just order parts wherever you're standing. If not, you, you can run you have to run back and forth to the computer to do it. 
and it's just a very slow process. Okay, so we need a crankshaft pulley. We need an arm here. And it's blue. And then we need a crankshaft pulley. I'm assuming the V8OHV I forgot already. And that's correct. Water pump pulley. And if you restore quite a few of these, uh, I'll know what to look for. After doing this restore, I'll know what to look for when I'm at the junkyard or doing barn picks. Um, I'll start learning what to watch for, like the 16V uh, alternator and stuff. Uh, this is going to be the Serpentine Belt A. Serpentine Belt A. V8 OHVI. Just call it out when you see it so it'll help me find it faster. <laughs> All right. okay. And Serpentine Belt B. V8 OHVI. alphabetical order but uh, some of that stuff I'm um, just uh, gets a little tricky for me oh I bought the wrong one I need because I need an exhaust manifold Hold on. B so I just bought the other side again looks like I bought the same one exhaust manifold B Okay, let's see. I'm not saying anything else. Let's put her back in the car. So we're going to crate it back up. Let's drop the car back down here. I feel like it was holding me up from putting the back tires on unless I'm missing something else, which is possibility. But let's drop it in here. And we're going to drop it in from the front, which is crazy, but it's just a little bit of a... Um, the the rear-wheel drive car is definitely... Uh, the rear engine car is definitely confusing it, so... So we need the clutch and stuff. Still, what is this? Rear muffler GT40. I 
and slap that on there. And I, we have to raise it up to put the uh, transmission and stuff back in. Which I'm assuming is what the is holding me up from putting the wheels back on. So let me see here. tires on you got to put the drive axles back in <laughs> again I haven't done a lot of these so I didn't know what I was missing I was kind of corn fused okay now we can drop these back tires on and once we get the tires on we can drop it into the paint shop here. Let me see. Let's look at the car status real quick. See if we're missing any parts that I can see right off the rip. There will not be a bar. It'll be it'll the name will be there but not the green bar. Okay, so I don't have the battery back in and stuff the front stuff I'm missing the starter so let's see let's try to put the starter on here might have to put it in from oh, oh we don't have a starter shit Put enough. Um, all right. Let's put that on. Let's let's drop it back down. Now to put the the stuff up here, it's crazy. I gotta click on engine compartment to install the stuff in the front, which is it just doesn't make sense to me because but there's that's. So you got to kind of scroll around here to where you can see up there. And I should be able to move up there once I click it. I'm going to try to click it and move up there. There we go. Alright, radiator A. Fan housing B. Okay. Battery. Behind us here. We took the one off the charge. Alright, so let's look here now at the car status. Alright, everything else looks like we're uh, that we're missing is body stuff, so fantastic. Let's go ahead and drop this down. Oops. Hold to lower. Uh, all right. So let's do the interior next. So you do interior disassemble, then assemble. Let's look at the seats here. Okay, they're green. We're going to use them. It's only a two-seater. So you've got to strap the kid on the roof. Move the steering wheel. Oh. Okay, that's yellow. Let's buy one. Ok, 
get out of that view. So we can buy one by going to the body spot. Uh, no, that's not true. We want to go to the interior shop. So we want the Ford. We might need this screen anyway when we start doing the body. Uh, GT40. Interior. Oh, so let's just uh, let's see if we can just pull up the GT40. All right, there we go. Four hundred dollars for the steering wheel. I get a discount because it's one of the perks I unlocked. Uh, that's the importance of doing the barn finds and stuff because you can buy a green steering wheel for probably fifty bucks maybe if you find one. Okay. So we got the interior done. Let's start doing the outer outer uh, stuff here. Assemble mode. I'm only going to use parts that are green. Besides the license plates, that doesn't matter. I don't even see one on here. Okay, so we need a front window. so cool this car is so cool it only has one license plate all right let's take a look at the status here we got the rear license plate is yellow but I'm not concerned with that that's the license plate so all right Let's look at the car value right now. 97,005 plus a bonus. So we're looking at 104,000. So let's put her in the paint shop here. And to go back to normal mode. Let's figure out what color we want this bad boy. So let's see if we got any type of liveries for it. It is the factory color right now. So let's look. There are no uh, liveries yet. So let's see what we got here. All right, so let's. That don't look horrible. Let's look at what this looks like. Is that the black? I don't know. Let's um, let's change the paint color here. Uh, 
啊。Looking for a yellow. But I don't know if I can find one. I don't know what I need to do to get yellow. Okay, we're getting there. All right. All right. So I was thinking about this. Let's take a look at it. Baby, it's the upgraded Bumblebee. Of course, some people might like the Camaro more, but uh, really sweet, really sweet. All right, let's take her for a drive. And I did that uh, in the other video too. You need some oil in them if you're going to drive them. That's a that's a definite. It won't make it very far. It won't make it very far, my friends, without oil <laughs> for sure. So let's get this in there. that off and keep it looking sharp. Let's put our license plate back on. And our tail lights. That's kind of a pain every time you wanted to put some more oil in, huh? Alright. Alright, let's try her again. Did it take out the rear, rear window? Or did I just did. This was part of the DLC expansion as well. So it's kind of neat. It's something that I didn't see originally. Um, but I bought like a combo pack that had almost all the DLCs in one combo pack. And just gave you a little more variety of cars to to mess around with. The hardest part is getting to level 35 so you can repair body parts, and getting to even to level 30 to get the paint shop is is it can be a grind. But I got some tips on that, and a lot of it is just do you know brake jobs and oil oil changes and stuff like that until you. Oh Lord. This thing has got some torque. Got some torque. Yeah. Luckily you can't damage them here, so. Oh my. I have a couple other videos on my channel where I do uh, 
farming stuff and I <laughs> I'm driving a tractor and I wreck so no one no wonder I can't control a car that's uh, fast oh yeah you hold that accelerator just it just spins out the torque is amazing should just put it on the speed track oh gosh let's put it on the <laughs> Uh, let's put it on the dyno. That might be a better way of testing it since my driving skills are non-existent. I better not play any uh, Gran Turismo or any uh, Grand Theft. Huh? I'll be caught every time. <laughs> uh, uh, you got to be able to laugh at yourself with your lack of skills. So... Like I said, if I wreck a tractor that's going 23 miles an hour, I don't expect to be able to drive a car. Normally, I just go to the speed track, but I wanted to see how it handled, and it's very sensitive. So let's put it on the dyno here. We got that. Uh, this will give us. This will let us know. We did put a few uh, extra parts on there, upgraded parts. This will l allow us to test that to see if we're getting more than factory. Um, horsepower so man that I, that car is sharp yeah so over factory were uh, eight percent over and uh, for horsepower I'm not sure what the bottom one is but it's seven point seven percent increased so these extra little parts make a difference but that thing is sharp 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 all right let's sell it hundred and four thousand dollars yes please all right let's see what we're going to start on the next episode let's pick something out my favorites are the military jeeps but they're just no money in them um, all right I did all the old school cars already I got uh, Let's do a double one, something I got two of here. Let's do, uh, I've got three of these, so let, we'll bring them all three in and we'll do two. We'll take a, we'll, we'll do, we'll bring three of them in and we'll build two machines out of the three. And we'll sell one off as a frame. So we got Ford Mustang Mach 1s. I don't know if they've all got the same engine, I didn't even notice that, but. So we got Oh, it won't let me bring the other one in yet. Let's Let's move this one to the to C for now. Let me pull the other one in. Did it pull it in and did it put it on a What am I missing here? Wow, it glitched out my car. It glitched out my car by trying to move it. Okay, well we got two. <laughs> uh, yeah, it glitched it out. Let's put it somewhere else. Let's see here. Let's put this one on lift B. Yeah, I had we had three of them and it, it glitched it out. So it's not. Oh, I put it in here. Oh, this one's definitely going to be the one for the spare parts, huh? Let's put it on. Uh, this will be the parts car. Looks like it looks like it's in pretty rough shape. I probably bought it very cheap. So we got three of the, um, let's look at the, 
Yeah, the value on this is 13000 But we'll, we'll strip it. I bought it for parts. So it's funny, if you look at the factory color on this one, it's bright yellow. This one's worth 38000 so this one's in pretty decent condition. The factory color is like a cream, like this color here. And this one's worth 38000 and it's like a white or a cream. So we'll, um, we'll repair both of these. We'll start that on the next episode. And we'll strip this one down for whatever guts and glory we can get off of it. And we'll repair everything we can get off of it. Uh, and then we'll sell the frame off um, and get some money back that way. But uh, don't forget to hit the like button and hit subscribe. And you'll see when I release the next video. And we'll be doing uh, two of the uh, Salem Fastbacks here. or the Oh, we're doing the Ford Mustang Mach 1s. We'll get both of these knocked out. Uh, it'll probably take two episodes. I'll probably have to do a couple time lapses doing two vehicles, but uh, we'll get her done and we'll get them sold and we'll see how they do on the dyno. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time. Car Mechanic Simulator. Till next time.